Hi guys, welcome back to Tarot Stories. This is Alekhya. So first of all, thank you all for showing us love and support to the channel and watching our videos. So today, as I promised in the IKEA vlog, uh, we, I'll be showing you how to assemble the crib and the high chair too. So if you guys have not watched the IKEA vlog, so I'll just leave the link in the card somewhere here so please go and watch it and please do like the video so i have a quick thing here uh, which i'll share with you guys uh, me and tarak we had an argument like where to fit the crib in this bedroom because we need to replace a thing so finally i won the challenge and uh, we had to remove one of his things and place the crib so i'll show you what we have removed and where we have placed the crib so just follow me This is how it looks guys so we have a dressing table here so we need to replace this with a crib so let's go So let's start off with uh, assembling the high chair uh, this as you know we got it from IKEA and it's very simple to assemble so let's read the guide and do it just to ensure we are safe They'll, they'll give the seat and uh, four rods where we need to fix the rods and then you have to just adjust the belt. So that's it for the high chair. Just make sure that uh, everything is uh, put it in place so that your child is safe. I feel this is uh, pretty, we got it in pretty good deal, uh, $9.99. So I'll just leave the link in the description if you want. You can just go ahead and purchase. So that's it. Just have to place the tray where they can put the food. And that's all. Wow, looks like he's enjoying his new chair. Let's see if he eats in this or not. All right, uh, now that we have finished setting up the high chair, which seems like Naksh is really enjoying, now it's time to go ahead and set up the uh, crib, basically the place where he can sleep. Uh, we wanted to get him a bed uh, for quite some time because uh, he started to grow and uh, we wanted him to have a bed as well. And uh, that way he does not, you know, disturb my sleep basically. Yeah, so we're just getting him used to that. What do you say? Is that true or not? Yeah, but again, this is uh, safety for him. Yeah, it is safety, so of he, course. Ideally, kids tend to fall out from bed. So, I think if we put uh, them in crib, so they would be safe and they can see, uh, sleep safe and we can sleep safe. Yeah, it's not just about safety also. Sometimes, you know, it. Uh, I really tend to get a fright staring that I might, uh, you know, uh, tend to fall on him when sleeping on the yeah, same bed. True. So usually I don't, I, I'm not a person who sleeps straight on bed so I just keep moving around and uh, looks like he's got some of my qualities too. So Shut up. he's been moving around on the bed and I thought maybe he should get his own space. So either ways, I think we made a good purchase decision and uh, we did get it for a good deal. I know it's not, it's not something that's uh, cheap. It's, I think it costed us at least 8,000 just for the crib alone. And but ideally, we are supposed to get a crib which is in uh, sale. But uh, I think we, I mean, the sale is gone, and then we lost that. Yeah, because that was like five thousand bucks, and that was uh, pretty good. But again, as we need this in some emergency kind, so we had to take this crib. Correct, and yes, we did miss out on that sale, but uh, unfortunately, we couldn't go because of all these restrictions and stuff. And uh, yes, but anyways, we managed to get this one. And uh, we are again happy for IKEA you know, having the services delivered even during the lockdown period. And uh, so while we are doing the assembly part, it's uh, pretty good uh, in terms of uh, how you assemble. It's quite fun actually. It's quite fun and also initially we didn't read the uh, manual and what we did is we we didn't put the inner part and then we have uh, set up everything and then we finally missed out the inner part inside so what we did is we removed everything and again we tried to assemble everything back so 
what you need to do is first follow the uh, manual that would be very easy which we missed out initially so i just suggest uh, what my suggestion is just don't miss out the manual if you don't then it would be very easy yes in fact uh, we should have read the instructions before starting we just kind of overlooked that stuff and i thought oh come on this is pretty straight forward but looks like uh, i uh, we kind of missed a part and anyways we had to go back and uh, get it done uh, again that is also not that difficult but uh, just follow the manual and uh, get your instructions straight keep all your tools necessary ready so that you know you don't uh, have to keep moving around here and there and uh, it's quite simple and useful now the other part why we do installation ourselves especially with the items we bring from ikea is because they kind of charge about uh, 750 bucks just for installing one single product and uh, that's that kind of gets uh, quite expensive when you purchase a lot of items and uh, like you know obviously we do not want to spend 750 rupees on just for installing an item that that is pretty self explanatory and uh, we can get that done as well now we are at the final stages of setting up the crib so we've just yeah. put on the mattress and uh, the mattress was about 1000 or 1500 not yeah. really sure we will leave uh, the in the description about these products that we got and the bed fitted sheets also i think it's uh, quite uh, we got it in a good deal so everything will leave the link in the description so and can you get share. get get you out of the frame come on facebook move yeah better so anyways now we are in the final stages i think uh, we're just setting up all his uh, needs and essentials the pillows the mattress covers and all that stuff i think and also the best part about this crib is uh, of course every crib has So this is the top layer which we fix the uh, what do you call that? The inner layer, the inner bed. Inner bed. So we also have a, a down layer where if your child grows and if if they tend to stand, so obviously you need to be more ensure more safe. So that's the reason you need to lower that frame so that uh, you can actually use it for like two to three years till they grow. They're they're literally safe in that. Yeah, again, your child outgrows the bed quite uh, fast, and uh, considering the kind of growth there. Time to go ahead and replace it. Yeah, I just love this uh, space in my Actually, bedroom. Actually, his but, favorite spot. There. Yeah, but yeah, I know I have to get it over with. It's not that I like the item much, but I like that space somehow. Yeah, like you know, that's where I. Okay. Don't worry, we'll place it. Yeah, we'll later. have to place it. Yeah, I think we'll have to. Give Naksh a separate bedroom and get him yeah. out of this. So this room. is how it looks. Yeah, it looks nice. Let me put him. Oh my God, he's enjoying hey, this. Hey baby, house. hi. This guy keeps enjoying every <laughs> freaking thing, and he wants always uh, something new. He does not like anything too old for a longer period of time. I hope you enjoyed this video till now, but this is not the end of the video. We have something else. Uh, we got a package from First Credit this morning. so that is nothing but baby uh, stroller so let me show you how to assemble the baby stroller too yeah we have the baby stroller so let's unbox it that's the one okay let's open it and see so before we got the package uh, we have sanitized that box and now let's see what's inside uh, yeah we have another box inside so let me let's remove this They have a good packing. Impressed. Wow. They have a bubble wrap too. Make sure. Wow, this looks nice. And this product is from Baby Hub. So, if you guys want it, uh, we'll leave the link in the description. You can go ahead and check out. We got this from First Try, guys. I love unboxing. I love bubble wrap. Yeah. Well, it's not bubble wrap. I just love it. We like the color red, so that's the reason we had to order online. Because offline we did not get the color red. It was only available in blue. But we like the red color, so we had to buy it online. Now there are a few pieces like I think that's the partition for the tray where you have also have the top holder in it. Now let us see how this gets opened. So 
So you put this to the side. This is how a stroller should look. There's a small manual which shows us the instructions of what to be done. Basically, now, let's see how it goes. Now, the second step is to install the front wheels of the stroller. So, let us go ahead and try doing that now. So, for the front wheels, we have so the two wheels. Okay, these just. This. Can I get the other one also? Yeah, these are fixed. Do we have I believe these are fixed right now. These are fixed. So that's the front wheel part. It's mm -hmm. pretty easy. Thank you. Let's go to the brake section. So they have two wheels and this is the brake. Uh, you know, if you want to stop the stroller, you can just put the brakes. So we need to fix the tires to that particular rod. So let's check the manual again. So I think they have, this is pretty simple. They have given two clips uh, to each tire. So you just have to fix that two clips and then put the tire to that brake rod so that's it so let's fix that to the stroller yes it is we need to just push the back rods to that particular tire it's just you have to fix that yeah that's it I think we are good to go with the tires yes now we have to fix that footrest and the final part which we have is the cup holder we need to fix that and then I'll show you how this works and what compartments do they have and that's it we are done here so basically we have a cup holder and also a cell phone tray you can put your wallet or phones or anything and then we have a shopping storage here if you shop you can just put your luggage here and these are the brakes for rear wheels you can just press it and then this doesn't move which is safe for your baby okay and then this is the cover if you want you can cover it or you can leave it like that and if you want to check out on baby uh, you can just view from here this is a net which is given and also uh, this is the tray for baby if you want to feed him or you can put any stuff like toys or anything you can put it here these are the seat belts which are safe for the baby like uh, they can't just uh, run away from here and uh, this is a three uh, position C uh, stroller I'll just show you how that works You can just view from here. So there is an it's written pull up to recline. Just pull up and this is 180 degrees uh, sleeping position and this is resting position and this is sitting position. And you can also push this button so that you know they can sit safely and you can shop safely. So this is the resting uh, footrest so if you want you can keep it or you can remove it and there is another option we can reverse this this handle so let me show you how so you can reverse it and you can move the cup tray in this direction so this is the way you can take it this is good right let me place it back to the original position so let me push it back it's very simple you just have to lift that two clips and then move the tray again that's it so the final part 
and the interesting part about this stroller is uh, how to close the stroller and keep it in your car which is actually tough with other strollers but this is best in this car so let's see this is the button you have to just push it And if you want to open, that's all. That's how the stroller looks. Hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, the unboxing of uh, crib, high chair, and the stroller, baby stroller. Please do let us know if you like such kind of videos so that we can do unboxing more. Uh, just let us know through comments in the comment section and also like this video and also subscribe to our channel which is very important to us and please keep supporting as always and that's all for the day thank you so much this is alekia and tarak behind the camera bye